Hi everyone. This has been a truly historic and unprecedented week here at BCIT. And I'm so proud of you, our BCIT community, for your resiliency and accomplishments in transitioning most of our learning platform and much of our team's work online. Thank you. 10 days ago, this transition was almost unimaginable. I know there were and still are bumps in the road, so I appreciate and ask for your patience and efforts as we go forward, as we continue this transition. Our teams are continuing to problem solve and get the answers you need. And in some cases, responses require direction or coordination with government. So we appreciate your understanding and patience. It's important to remember how far we've come and still acknowledge there's a long way to go. You're probably working with people who are really stepping up beside you in this situation. And I'm sure you've noticed them going out of their way to be kind and help a student or a colleague. I hope you take a moment to acknowledge that with them and thank them for their efforts. It helps us all survive and get focused on positive initiatives. And in case I've not taken the opportunity, I want to acknowledge the extraordinary efforts of the many unsung heroes. I hope you know who you are. There isn't enough time to acknowledge you all individually today, but we will do a debrief and celebration when we can come together. I know I've seen many of you in action and you're incredible. These moments of sincere and mutual appreciation will help us succeed in this crisis. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So I hope you'll find some moments of rest and to be with family. We'll continue to update you at BCIT breaking news and by email. In concluding for this message, I'd say, as Dr. Bonnie Henry said so well this week, be calm, be kind, be well, and thank you, BCIT.